Hello and welcome to Altman G Score Plus Corporate Credit Risk Analysis Product. My name is Sribat Sadas. I am the co creator of Altman G Score Plus. This application delivers insights beyond the traditional G score, and I will walk you through a brief presentation and then demonstrate the capabilities of this application on Bloomberg Terminal. This application has been developed in collaboration with Dr. Ed Altman, Professor of Finance at New York University's Leonard Stern School of Business. In addition to generating the classic G series scores, the G, G prime, and G double prime scores for US public manufacturing firms, for US private manufacturing firms, and for US non manufacturing and foreign firms, this app has made three significant enhancements. Number one, it ranks the company within and across the industrial sectors. It estimates bond rating equivalent, which is very useful for uh, private firms and for the firms those haven't issued debt. Predicts one to ten years of default probability, both for existing bonds and loans, as if the company has um, issued debt uh, are before, so it's a season debt issue, or the for new bonds and loan PD, if the company has never issued that before, um, so in that circumstance, the new bond and loan uh, should be considered. In a nutshell, this app offers insights beyond the traditional G score. The key benefits of this application are to analyze corporate credit risk among many, and the features are to analyze both uh, private and public firms public firms by entering ticker symbol by having this application on the Bloomberg platform we are able to analyze companies traded anywhere in the world so the target users are many within the financial sector so this is how you can actually try the application risk free go to Bloomberg terminal try up apps space alt pen and go and then it will bring up this page and you can actually launch a free preview. In a nutshell, the application offers insights beyond the traditional G scores, offers bond rating equivalent, percentile ranking, and probability of default. App offers both standing capabilities and predictive capabilities. It is simple and easy to use. Now I will switch over to demonstrate the application on Bloomberg Terminal. This is the Bloomberg application. So in the beginning, a tutorial comes up. So you can actually uh, go through the pages and, and see what the application has to offer. Um, then uh, on the top, there are current snapshot, historical trends, compare companies, uh, analyze your portfolio, analyze your score, analyze one-year financials, analyze three-year financials, analyze a financial file and analyze a score file and then on file you can actually open a CSV comma separate value save the screenshot save the result as a CSV you can copy the screenshot into the clipboard you can copy the data into clipboard and all the help there's about tutorial there's a primer that explains how our methodology frequently asked questions and how to upload a file and then there are various sample data files you can download to prepare your uh, data to upload to the application and the bo bottom there are buttons that uh, takes you to the uh, Bloomberg terminal so now analyze a current uh, current snapshot of a company we entered a ticker symbol and hit submit and then the application generates the G score, G double prime score, percentile ranking within uh, metal sector, percentile ranking across all manufacturing sectors, bond rating equivalent. At the bottom, there are two sets of default probabilities. The first one is for existing bonds and loans and for the new bonds and loans. On the right hand side, there's a graph of the existing bonds and loan PD and the new bonds and loan PD up to 10 years into the future. And then analyze trends. Here, the you enter the ticker symbol. It could be a U.S. company or non-U.S. company, uh, as long as it's a public traded company. And you hit submit, 
and then the application uh, picks up the quarter over quarter analysis uh, of the scores, percentile ranking, bond rating equivalent, default probability both for existing bonds and loans, new bonds and loans, um, the quarter over quarter for three years, and uh, then there is a graph of the G score and G double prime score, and at the bottom there are legends. You can compare two or more companies, preferably in the same industry. On the top we see we enter two companies uh, by separating them with a comma. And then uh, we see the outcome here and then there is a graph. Similarly, you can actually create your portfolio and uh, you can enter the portfolio ID by entering this uh, by entering the ID and hit submit once you do that all the equities in the portfolio will be analyzed and you will see the analysis uh, over here as well as the comparison on the bottom in case you have a score you want to quickly analyze the score you can actually select whether the company is a publicly traded company private company manufacturing company non manufacturing company us or non us company and then select the industrial classification and hit submit and once you do that the application actually calculates the percentile ranking bond rating equivalent uh, for you as well as the um, yeah, it's a percentile ranking both within um, the chemical sector across all manufacturing sectors, bond rating equivalent, default probabilities, and it uh, plots the graph of the existing bond loan PD and the new bond loan PD. In case you have data and you would like to enter the data, the application allows you to do so. Here we selected the company classification, uh, company industrial sector. We entered the assets liabilities, return earnings, uh, earnings before interest and taxes, sales figures, book value of liabilities, then um, shares outstanding, share price, uh, Total assets, intangible assets, if it is available. If intangible assets is available, um, then you can actually enter that. In that case, the ratios will be, uh, scores will be calculated based on the net tangible assets. If the intangible is not supplied, then the score will be based on tangible assets. All the numbers except the share price can be in the same units, say the thousands, millions, or billions, but they all need to be in the same units. Then the app actually calculates the scores and uh, it um, calculates the percentile ranking, estimates bond rating equivalent, and offers the default probability. Okay? And then you can actually analyze uh, three years of uh, data. In case you have three years of data, you would like to manually enter. And the process is similar to what we just came across in the Analyze One Year Financials. And you can actually analyze a data file, a CSV file. And you can actually follow through the process that uh, outlines how to actually prepare the file based on the company type you can actually prepare the data and upload the file and then the application is going to calculate for you so this is very useful in case you are performing any what if analysis then analyze the score file in case you have multiple scores and you would like to actually enter that to this application will be able to analyze multiple scores for you um, so here it presents you the say this is uh, in the chemical sector uh, we got the score and the application analyzes the, the scores estimates bond rating equivalent ranks the company within its sector across the manufacturing sector estimates a bond rating equivalent and uh, predicts the default probabilities here so now let us see so this is uh, basically um, how we go about uh, working with the application on the Bloomberg terminal, starting with a current snapshot, analyzing historical trends, comparing two or more companies, analyzing a portfolio, analyzing a score, analyze one-year financials, analyze three-year financials, or analyze a financial file or a score file and then you can actually save the data um, or the screenshots um, then uh, for help you can refer to the tutorial primer etc and our website is altman g score plus 
uh, com and to access this application uh, you can uh, type apps space altman and hit go on bloomberg terminal with this i thank you very much for taking your valuable time to learn more about this application and we welcome your uh, questions and comments as well as you may try this out on bloomberg terminal risk free um, and, and let us know if we can assist you with anything thank you very much